Hello, folks. So, um, and now for something completely different. Um, and normally, we are involved in uh, things like porting, you know, Kubernetes Windows. We are part of, let's say, of SIG Windows and everything. But um, the more we interact with the community, the more we discover there is actually a need for simplifying and helping people in getting their cluster up and running. Let's say, uh, getting over that initial knowledge gap that brings you to the point in which you are really proficient in uh, deploying and maintaining your own clusters, okay? If you're a developer, and there are a ton of developers, of course, among the, uh, the Kubernetes community members, you will find that uh, there is a very clear path that people follow coming from zero to understand how to create applications and deploy them on Kubernetes, right? Uh, you learn your Docker files, you learn how to write manifests, um, you discover Helm, you start writing Helm charts, and maybe you start using Drat for scaffolding, and stuff like that. But if you are on the op side in the DevOps world, yes, you start with Minikube, and then you need to deploy your clusters, and you're pretty much left with a lot of choices. Um, so whenever you start looking and Googling for, hey, how do I deploy a, um, a Kubernetes cluster, you will find a gazillion of options. So you start, of course, with an official project. So you start with uh, Kube Admin, of course, which is great if you already have your nodes up and running and you know <laughs> what you're trying to achieve. You have COPS, you have Kubernetes anywhere, and so on, okay? I'm not adding Minikube there. Then you have the cloud-specific one. Uh, of course, every cloud provider is providing you also tools for deploying on their cloud. So AKS, ACS Engine, or ACS, AKS on Azure. Then you have the Google One, JKE, and so on. On OpenStack, there is, of course, uh, a lot of work being done over there. Uh, we are part of the uh, OpenStack community as well, so that's where we come from. So you have Magnum. And then you have also all the additional ones, because every, every other day, somebody comes up with a new, with a new way to deploy uh, of course, uh, to deploy Kubernetes, okay, with various variations. Some of them focus more on some clouds, some of them focus more on premise, and so on. The solution, writing yet another project, that, that's probably not the case, okay, you're probably all familiar with this, uh, with this particular example here. So, we decided to take a completely different approach. Um, to begin with, um, you have uh, two main scenarios. You can deploy a Kubernetes cluster in a cloud, meaning that somebody is already doing all the hard work for you. Um, being part of the OpenStack communities, we know how hard it is to spin up an infrastructure as a service cloud. You know? So um, when people say that Kubernetes is easier or more reliable than OpenStack, well, they're comparing apples and oranges because uh, Kubernetes is just sitting on top of, of something created by somebody else which already works. So you don't have to care about storage, you don't have to uh, care about uh, software-defining networking, you don't have to care about compute, it just works. So while if you do clusters on bare metal, you have to do everything by yourself, okay? How to make the process easier? We decided to create a GUI so that it's an easy way to help people getting into, into Kubernetes. It has to be multi-platform, Linux, Mac OS, Windows. It has to uh, work, well, we decided to create it with Atom and React because they're two, let's say, very popular frameworks. Of course, uh, uh, with Flow also to make uh, uh, JavaScript uh, humanly usable. <laughs> uh, and of course, you can also have a Golang backend and have plugins for all the possible projects. So let me introduce you Kube Installer, which is the idea behind, behind this project, okay? The idea is that you can uh, allow the user to add the individual um, uh, components that are needed for, of course, your spinning up your deploying your cluster, and then let the actual Kube installer interact with the individual solutions behind. So, Kube installer is not replacing those projects; it's just simply providing a front end on top of them. Okay, so you simply choose which one you want. Um, okay, let me use my last seconds for spinning up this thing. So, this is very very early development. Of course, it's fully open source. So you see it starting here, and then from here I can start, for example, adding nodes. I can decide if it's a, um, if it's a Linux one, if it's a, um, um, a Windows one, and so on, okay? So for example, I'm adding it right now. And then I keep on adding, I configure in my networking, and then I will say, okay, go for it. For example, if I want this to become a master and a node, I enable it here, and so on. So this is meant to make life easy for everybody. Then I can click deploy and that will start the deployment, which of course I cannot make in the next uh, 10 seconds. Thank you guys. <laughs>